Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Smart the Messenger. We're back on another one. This one's going to be about music, what God showed me about music and uh, certain frequencies that are being pushed out. And, um, you know, many people, well, people have told me that Satan before he fell um, on earth, like when he was still like on the good side, I guess you could say, that he used to run the music. He was in charge of music in heaven. Now, there's no Bible verses to back that up. This is what many people have said. So I looked it up in the Bible and I couldn't find any verses that prove that, but that's what many people have said. Uh, but if you look at the society and the world we live in today and the music that's getting pushed out, and we all know, you know, people are uh, operating on that side, sell their soul for to be, you know, famous and rich. That's very real. Um, and, you know, these people who, who are being put on by Satan, they're pushing certain frequencies out to the music and uh you know you notice how like like when you go to like a club or like a club or like a bar you know the type of music they play or they play music like you know excuse my language but i'm gonna just say it you know let's get effed up you know stuff like that right and that that freak that programs people's minds to want to drink more and that that pays that club owner whatever that feeds his pockets okay and there's certain frequencies there's certain people who know this and they manipulate it and by they purposely play this type of music or you notice that when you're at a club right people are more giving over to like lustful stuff right and that's the music you know when the music's playing uh certain things you know you're going to be giving more into your lust and especially on top of that when you're drinking you know we all know alcohol is spirits so now on top of that you know and i noticed that uh back back when i was like when i first this is 2018 when i first was like trying to give up my lust right and the music I would listen to now, if you listen to like a song or two, that's nothing. But if you spend like most of your day, most of your days, you know, listening to certain music, certain frequencies, best believe it is program your mind to want to do certain things that you normally wouldn't do. But you're plugging, you're programming yourself with that music that you're listening to for hours on out. Now, let me make this very clear too. If you're at the gym and they're playing music for an hour, that's not going to do nothing to you. But like I said, if you're making this like a routine, a routine where, you know, it's every single day. That's gonna program you, okay? Like I can even remember back in the days, back when I used to like um, smoke and hot box with my friends back then. Like there'd be certain people that would come around, and like you know when they would play their music, you know how everyone, you all know how it is. Like people will share the aux cord or whatever, and then when it was their turn to play their music, you know they would play like uh, the sad frequency stuff, like you know X X Nation. Um, who else would they play? A little peep you know, like the sad boy type of music and those type of people were usually like sad and depressed all the time. Like, it's not a coincidence, you know? And the people who were like, you know, in the streets and, you know, living that type of lifestyle, they would play that type of music. And that's what they're programming their mind. And many people don't realize this. That's why it's important, guys. You know, you don't have to do this every day, but I like to like listen to like meditation, like Bible verses throughout, um, like on YouTube and stuff like that. Like, I like to listen to that because it's programming my mind. And like, even the Bible says, you know, uh, the godly man meditates on God's uh, laws day in and day out, you know. So, you know, Satan is pushing us to meditate on demonic stuff. And that's causing us to be a slave to our lust. That's causing us to have, um, you know, certain sins like um, the love of money. You know, that's what the frequency they push out to. Um, you know, so there's a lot of, also it's a demonic stronghold that's building up in your mind too. And that through that demonic stronghold is now causing you to be more lustful. You know, causing you to do more things that you wouldn't do. You know, even at... Um, if you guys remember when Travis Scott had his concert, which was just a ritual, and you know they claimed that eight people died, eight, nine, seven people died, allegedly. Uh, I think it was more. I believe it was more. And if you paid attention to that concert, like the only reason why I watched it because I wanted to see like what what's going on in the spirit room that the average person can't see with their eyes because God gave me discernment so I could see I could see what's really happening. And prior to what happened before the people died, they were they're pushing that death frequency out. And look what happened, guys. Nine people died. Nine people died. And that's the frequency that's being pushed out. The rage. And, you know, when you listen to music that's like wants you to rage, people get violent. That's that's what you're getting programmed to. And if people were listening to like ballerina, you know, <laughs> like ballerina music, you know, stuff like that, people are not going to want to get aggressive. They're going to be more chill and like, you know, they're not going to want to be all ragey. So best believe, guys, music is powerful. Now, like I said, many people have said that saying was in control of music. I want to believe that, and I, I kind of do believe that, but at the same time, it's not in the Bible, you know? So, truthfully, no one knows what Satan was doing in heaven but God himself and, of course, him himself as well, too. The fallen angels, now, I do believe that there will be music in heaven. I do believe the music in heaven will be to worship God, and that's what music is for. Nowadays, guys, 
You're either your music to all you artists out there. You're either worshiping God in your music or you're worshiping Satan. There's no in between. Okay, if you're rapping about material stuff, worldly things, uh, smashing this, smashing that, material stuff, like that's of the devil. Like not to be like not to sound too religious, but that's just the truth. Okay, when you're rapping, when you're giving all praises to the Most High, uh, you know, you know stuff like that, right? Righteous music, you know. That type of stuff glorifies the Father. That's what, you know, and that type of music will never be put on in this world. It will never be put on. That's just a sad truth because people don't care for righteousness. You know, we're living in a day and age where they're calling good evil and evil good. That's the day and age we're living in. But even in the midst of that, when you're on the good side, the light side, you got to understand that there is a reward at the end. And yes, though you see that the other people on the dark side are prospering, it's only for a short, short time. Those are who on the light side of the Jesus Christ, the team Christ side, that is internal. So you might be suffering right now if you're an artist and you're coming up and you know that most people are not trying to hear that type of music, but just keep doing what you love to do. Don't worry too much about money or uh, how you're going to pay your bills or what clothes you're going to wear because God will definitely provide for you. You know, just have faith, of course, and put in the works because faith without works is dead. And, you know, I want to add on this real quick too. Um... You know, I would listen to a lot of Wiz Khalifa and I used to smoke a lot back then. And I think that's why I would always smoke because Wiz Khalifa would always be rapping about, you know, getting high and stuff like that. And not just him, there'll be other people too, like other like Bay Area, like local rappers where I'm at. And like, I noticed that that caused me to always want to be, you know, like, oh, you know, I remember I listened to the song like, dang, like I want to, I want to light one up, you know? So this is very real. Uh, guys, be very cautious in the music you listen to. Now, I'm not trying to push no fear out. Like, if you listen to, like, a song or a couple of songs, that's not going to, like, you're not going to be... Like, let's say if you listen to a sad... Like, they call it the sad boy music, right? You listen to that a couple of times, that's not... You're not going to be sad. But if you're making that a routine, like, a pattern in your life to listen to that every single day for weeks on out, you're going to you're gonna start to see that way. And, like, even then, like, before uh, Nicki Minaj, before Cardi B, before Megan Thee Stallion, like, these female rappers, right? Um... I don't know all of them. That's the only ones I could think of top of the head. Like before they were on the scene, before Satan put them on, like women were more like, like submissive, feminine. You know, nowadays these women are like men. You know, that's the music that's being pushed out. Cardi B, uh, I don't need a, I don't need a, you know, I don't want to say it, but you know, I don't need this. I don't need a man. It's like that. Now a lot of these females are feeling like, you know, let me have, uh, let me sleep with multiple men. Cause I'm a boss, you know, I'm a boss chick. I don't, and that's the frequency that's being pushed out. Tell y'all this is real, man. And Satan knows this, but a lot of y'all don't know this, man. So I'm just letting y'all know, man, uh, to balance it out, okay? Balance it out. Listen to some, you know, like I said, I, I love listening to uh, meditate, like Bible versus meditation throughout the background. And I do plan on making videos of that uh, pretty soon. Um, I'm moving next month. So once I move in, I'm going to get everything situated and I'm going to make it like an hour long. Uh, when my baby comes, I'm going to be, when she's sleeping, I'm going to be playing it in the background. So we got to program our mind, guys, with the right way, like with the good stuff, you know, because best believe, guys, your your eyes is the portal, your ears is the portal, whatever you feed it, you know, be very cautious on what you're, what you're, you know, listening to. And, you know, I'm very sensitive when it comes to spirituality. Like, I can't be listening to certain things or watching certain things no more. Like, I just can't. Like, ever since I became born again, bro, like... It's just, it's just not the same, you know, it's not the same. And I believe that's the fruit of being born again. Like the things that you used to do, you don't care for it no more. Either you don't care for it no more, it makes you uncomfortable or you have no desire. Like, yeah, you don't care. You just don't care for it no more. So I hope this guy, edif I hope this guy's edified you guys. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And leave a comment below if you guys have any similar uh, stories, what you've been through. All right, I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.